I was 11 years old, I was lucky enough to go to Las Vegas. And there I went to the Venetian Hotel, which if you've been there you'll know it has the canals inside so it looks like Venice with the gondolas, but it also has a magic shop. And in this magic shop I saw a piece of close-up magic which I will never forget. It was one of the first things I ever really saw that was I thought was proper magic. Um, and the man behind the counter said, you can buy the secret, it's eleven dollars. Which was a lot of money to me at the time, but I, you know, scraped all my money that I had together and I had just enough to buy this trick, so I did. And when I bought it, all I got was a piece of paper with the instructions, nothing else. And I felt cheated, you know, how could a piece of paper cost eleven dollars? But what I didn't realise was that I was really buying the secret to the trick. And that's what magic is all about, secrets. And it was, in fact, a classic piece of close-up magic by someone called Roy Walton, uh, which I'm going to share with you now. So if I grab uh, a couple of cards here, maybe if I grab, say, two cards that look different to each other. So I'll go for a queen. I'm going to fold that like this in half. Okay. Like that. And I will go for, let's say, something like this, so that the two are really different from each other. I'm going to fold this one this way and crease it that way. So, two cards, the Queen of Spades and the Ace of Hearts. Now, to begin with, I'm going to place the Ace of Hearts inside the Queen of Spades, like so. But just to make everything easy, uh, I'm going to turn it this way around so you can see the queen inside the ace. Now, if I just give a snap, you hear that? Sounds slightly different now because when I push the queen it goes back to how it was before. Watch. I can even fold down the corners for you so you can see the exact moment as it goes through. Like this. And if I rip right in the centre, just where it changes, this is the really interesting bit. drop those pieces out. There we go. Now you can see, if I open it up, how it's coming out right now, look. But the really interesting thing about this illusion is that if you break it, it'll only fit back together one way. And that fits perfectly.